Can she one shot an alpha man? Oh yeah, for sure. He's dead. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video. It is I, Aura Expert, and if you didn't see our summon video, we pulled her. We have ourselves Thor, the God of Thunder. <laughs> she looks so sick. I love this design. She looks fabulous. And honestly, her default outfit is her best outfit. So I'm not just gonna waste time buying her cosmetics. I could care less. But literally, crazy stuff. Yeah, she's on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Thor's real birthday? There, there's no way. I'm looking it up. There's, there's no way. There, there's no way. <clears throat> yeah, Thor's birthday. In terms of actual mythology, he was born April 27th. Why is she born on 9/11? <laughs> Oh, okay, dog. I'm not even gonna question it. Listen, I'm here for the character, not her birthday, okay? And literally, she looks crazy. But just to run down her kit again for those who missed, like, my Passionless video and my Summon video. <sighs> At start of battle, she applies Divine Lightning because this is, you know, genuine stats. And I ac actually know what is happening here. She applies Divine Lightning on the hero and decreases applicable allies' damage taken by 30% for two turns. So, Divine Lightning is the damage dealt and damage taken is accumulated up to 300k. That's what Divine Lightning is, which is its own thing. And once you get to the 300k accumulation, that's when you proc Thunder God's Judgment for three turns. And Thunder God's Judgment, what it does is that your attack related stats are increased by 30% and additionally it inflicts damage equal to 50% of the final damage to all enemies when using a single target skill. And yes, she has two single target skills if I'm not mistaken, so yeah, this will be interesting. And then it also gives you a 50% damage dealt to taunting ally or taunting enemies and then it also applies divine lightning when removed. So it it gets crazy, okay? But regardless, when the Vine Lightning reaches its maximum thing for three turns, every for every ally participating in battle, you get a 5% um, all stat increase. And then, for each buff and debuff applied to applicable allies being unknown in Ragnarok, the hero's damage dealt is increased by 4% up to 40%. Now, applicable allies is going to be interesting, so I'm going to try to play around here. This is, I have a team, we're going to see, you saw in the thumbnail already, so let me stop pandering, right? And again, she has two single target skills, one having lightning strike, which ignores crit defense, and the other one being the same. It does crit damage instead, which was a mistranslation, apparently, on my part. But yeah, the first one is crit chance increase. The second one is crit damage increase. But this one also ignores crit resistance if you have Thunder God's Judgment active. So you're guaranteed to crit with this anyway. You don't need crit chance on the card. So she's pretty much guaranteed to crit. But the team we're going to work with today, this. We're going to use Gother, Zahard and Thor. I think this team has a lot of potential here. We have 246 CC, which is kind of mental, but I have faith that this team is going to be crazy, okay? So let's go ahead and hop into it. Be sure to like, comment down below how y'all feel about Thor as a PvP unit, and then I'm going to give you my first impressions right here, because she is free to play. I don't have any cosmetics. We will see what happens. <clears throat> Maybe he even leaves the game because he saw Thor. We'll see. But pretty much how she plays, you don't want to use this third or her second skill, the Thunder God Strike one, because that does the most damage when you have Thunder God's Judgment active. So we're just going to not use that card for a while. But she also does 50% damage to taunting enemies, and it looks like Sabunak taunts out the gate. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use this, we're ranking up Jihard, and then we're just going to waste this Gother card <coughs> just to take it a little simple. Okay, 79k is not bad for a rank 1, not at all. And she does have grace on Sabunak, which makes perfect sense. Yep, I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So now next turn, we have our Zahard set up, as well as, you know, as long as they don't do crazy damage to Thor, Thor is going to have her set up, and then it's just going to be GG's from there. But I'm, I have a lot of faith with the Gother Thor setup, and I just use Zahard in there just for aesthetics. I haven't played with him in a minute. I still take a decent amount of damage there, but it's okay. I want to take damage at the end of the day, especially with Thor, so... I didn't pull another rank up, which is unfortunate. So now, my single targets are out of the picture. Oh, wait, I cleansed! I forgot just a heart cleanses. Okay, that's good. So, is Thunder God's Judgment active yet? 
is that what this one is right here? Divine Lightning, I'm almost there, I'm at 220k. So, it goes off of damage dealt and damage taken, so what we're gonna do here is merge these two, merge this, single target, and then single target again. For Zahard's purpose on the team, should be able to obliterate. Ooh, all right, Zahard did nothing. Okay, my fault. See, I haven't played with Zahard, or not Zahard, I haven't played against a Sabunak. Like, I've only played against her like twice, maybe three times. I didn't know she was that tanky, I'm gonna be honest. Which is new to me. But next turn, we can go crazy. We have the setup we need. As long as Thor doesn't get obliterated here. Which it looks like she's gonna be fine. That might hurt. Maybe. Okay, that did nothing. We live. We live. So now, we have Thunder Guard's Judgment active. That looks sick, by the way. I like that a lot. And so, we are going to AoE with Zahard. And clean it up with Thor. And then... Uh... Yeah, sure. Let's just do that. I'm cool with this. I could have ranked up, but honestly, this is probably the better for me. Oh, he just dies because the heart's broken. <laughs> uh, I didn't even get to use Thor. <laughs> the heart is just too crazy. Because you got to think about it, right? With this team setup I have going on, there's a lot to worry about. Because on turn one, I'm at full HP, so it's going to be hard to kill the team after all. But I guess the best person to target in that situation would be Gother, because on turn one, he's probably the squishiest. And then you don't want to do too much damage to Thor, because it makes her passive easier to stack. But that's just turn one. On turn two, Zahard's immortal, so you can't kill him. And then at that point, I already used my Gother rank up on Zahard, so he's just chilling. And then Thor is already practically at her passive. Not close, but it's pretty fucking close. And it just makes her a demon as well. So you have to worry about both of these disgusting characters at the same time. It's very interesting for sure. Any forfeit. What the? What? What in the world? <laughs> Can't even see Gothar's windscreen because the hearts bubble is right there. That's tough. Who are we working with today? Okay. Send team. This is fair. <sighs> Let's see what we got going on here. We can go for the Escanor for sure. Just with like, kind of want to see what happens if we target Escanor out of the gate. So, what we're going to do, rank up Zahard again, go for the single target on Thor, and then we're going to use the Gother. Like, this is probably the best setup for now. Because Zahard can obliterate Meliodas, no problem, with uh, his passive going and shit. So, I'm not worried about that at all. 75k is pretty good. And then 63 on Gother? That's honestly rare to see him do decent amount of damage, funny enough. But let's see what we working with here. He's probably going to rank up his Escanor and double attack with him. Maybe. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So I, again, I'm trying to keep track of it in my head. I did 73k with Thor. So I need around 130k damage done to me. And I'll be at 200k. Which that looks like that was the case. And then this might push me at having my Thunder God's Judgment active. Which if he activated it, he already messed up. It's Yeah, he, he fucked himself. Because, yeah, that was stupid. And then I didn't get to actually use Thor. <laughs> Damn. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Bruh, Thor's kind of crazy, and I didn't even get the player yet. This team is just nasty. There's so much to worry about with this setup, it's crazy. Who we got? Um, a Thor, Sabunak, Vitoria. And that's probably the better team, because Sabunak and Thor are pretty good together, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. We don't have to worry about her yet, so... Let's go ahead and she probably has Tarmia Link, so I guess we do the same thing as always. Rank up Zahard, level one with Thor, and then go in with Gother. Now next match, I will rank up Thor just because this is a Thor showcase, and I haven't really showcased too much, right? But I'm at 69K for her. And she does not have, what do you call it? Tarmia Link on Sabnak, Sabunak. The link is on Thor, I think? which is makes sense in my personal opinion but i'm not worried about that right now we're just gonna see how he plays this out turn one for sure i have a lot of security here and he looks like he's taking his time so this might be a tough fight to win maybe but his cc is significantly lower than mine so damage wise i just out dp him we'll find out though we'll find out. he's going for gother which obviously makes sense that's what i said earlier he's the best one to target when it comes to like the enemy's first turn but then it comes to this stage, and it's kind of just up in the air. Like, he's stunned. I don't know how the fuck he did that, but I have a removed buffle. 
So I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and just get Zahar the win here. We're gonna remove that and then just kill Thor with two rank three level twos. Because now that I have my sons active, Zahar's just broken. There's no reason for me to not do this. <laughs> this team is stupid. Bruh, this team is disgusting. I can't even play with Thor, bro. This team is crazy. But I hope um, he's not staying, right? I mean, he's a real player for sure. I guess he has some respect. I respect him for not, you know, forfeiting immediately. Even though he might forfeit in the next five minutes. I just realized he has a level 60 Nanashi. No wonder his CC was abysmal. Can we get, like, Thor's thing to proc? That'd be greatly appreciated, bro. Like, truly greatly appreciated. But I guess it's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead, do this, do that, try to get her windscreen. Um, see, if I attack with Zahar, he's just gonna kill. <laughs> so hopefully this kills. No, it did not. Oh, she also has Tarmino Grace, which is whatever. You can heal all you want, you're still gonna die to Zahar because he's in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> this team is dumb. <laughs> I haven't been able to use Thor though. So this is going to be a prolonged showcase for sure. My cards are just not it for Thor. Like, I want to use her, but literally, I'm not... I get put in these situations where Zahar is just such a free win. Be, like, ugh. All right, next game for sure, I'm not going to try to use Zahar. I'm using Thor as much as possible. I'm going to actually rank up Thor next game. So let's actually get some gameplay here. Let's see who we got. Okay, it's a sin team. We like that. Very simple, very simplistic. Probably some dodge food in there because he has cosmetics and the CC is relatively low. So I am going to assume that he has dodge food. So we're going to rank up, attack with the Gother, and attack with Thor. Just to get rid of that dodge food-ish. Unless he does have dodge food and the CC just weirdly, like, at a weird spot. Okay, no dodge food. I can deal with that. 89k. So now I need to take around like 200,000 <laughs> amount of damage here in order for me to get her God's judgment. So let's see if we get lucky. If he actually attacks me here, ranking up Escanor, and then what exactly? What's happening? Ranking up Escanor twice. He's going for a one shot on Donar or Thor. My fault. My fault, OG. 50 50 50 50. Yeah, that's not. Is it gonna kill? Damn, it kills. All right, I'm fine with that. That is very much fair. I'm not mad at that at all. Let's do this then. Merge, do that, and just go in with this. 94k. Yeah. He got that good RNG there. That level 3 single target was really strong for him. Any other start and he would not have killed Thor. For sure. But I think I lose this one just because of that level 3 start he had. Yeah, this is going to hurt. There's nothing I can do about this one. Gother and Jahar didn't take that much damage, to be honest. Actually. Does Zahar live? If Zahar lives, we win. No. Zahar's immortal. Of course. Of course he lived. He's immortal. <laughs> of course he lived. But now it's cracked, and now you, you just lose. I have high hopes that this is gonna kill. Maybe I don't do one, nah, I do one level three. Just because I have so much faith in Zahard, one level three is all I need. It's all I need. You got this, little bro. Close. That's unfortunate, dude. So close. Close, dude, close, man. And he has red Liz in the back, what the hell? Whatever, bro. Do I, do I lose? If he targets Gother, I mean, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just fucking dead there. There's no shot. <laughs> yeah, I just died. This is hard, bro. <sighs> he was so close. He could have clutched that. If he had a little bit more power, if I upgraded one of his cosmetics, he would have killed. Just one, man. Damn. It is what it is, though. We lose. We take those lose losses with dignity. Uh, we don't have any more things. But I do want to get a Thor win thing. So we're just going to throw on attack gear. Or attack food because we just don't have these and then we're gonna try to get a one more match just we'll make this last match try to get the thor that i want to see because genuinely this is a hard carry this video and i can't say he didn't so i need to get a little bit of thor action in there so again we're gonna focus thor and it looks like we have a human team that's not bad not for me i'm assuming Percival's back there with this setup or bond for whatever reason this setup could be scary and if I don't kill turn one, I just kind of lose because now for me is so crazy. Ooh, we have a beautiful start for her though. Beautiful start. We're gonna level three into, ooh, is that Tarmia Link? 
I don't want to deal with Tarmiel. Like, I'm going to be so honest. So what we're going to do here is go for the Escanor. We're going to rank up level 3 into level 2. Because I genuinely don't want to deal with Tarmiel. As of on my Thor. Maybe this is a bad idea, but maybe this works. 124. Do I kill? Come on. Beautiful. We killed Escanor. So it depends on who he's got in the back. If it's Percival, we might be in trouble. But if it's Bond, we're cooked. Yuri? Oh yeah, we lost. I do negative damage now. And then I lost a decent amount of HP because I killed us. This could be a problem. This could definitely be a problem. I mean, at the very least, it's the hardest safe, but I don't have any way to secure a W out the gate if someone dies here. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. So I'm not worried about this at all. That was very, very strange. We do have Thunder's God's Curse. Don't die. Beautiful. Okay. Now we gotta get through now. We can break her stance because she does more damage to taunting enemies, which is beautiful. So, what we're gonna do here is rank up the Thor because I wanna see the level 3 damage while Dunder God is active. And then single target with Zahard. Now, for me, should die here for sure, but we'll see. Can she one shot an alpha me? Oh, yeah, for sure. He's dead. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? What just happened? <laughs> what the f <laughs> What was that? What just happened, bro? I, I didn't realize that she had AoE mechanic in her single target. What just happened? Alright, we're done. We're done with the video. But I'm so confused on what just happened there. I need to read her passive again. Or the skill. I have no idea. Sorry about that. But I have no idea what just happened. So... I'm gonna read this one more time. Do crit damage and you ignore stuff when it's active. So, is it a level. Th no, it does not become an AoE at level 3. So, Thunder God's Judgment, did it just do damage to all enemies? I'm so confused on what just happened there. It does that. Oh, 50% of final damage to all enemies. Of course. And 50% of final damage just nuked the team? Yeah, she's crazy. She's crazy as hell. We're done. We're done with the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below how you feel about this character. She is fun. She's really fun. I like this. But okay, we're going to go home and have ourselves a nice day. So be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace and have a wonderful day. Hey, even still, I might stream today or tomorrow. You never know. Just be on the lookout.